what up what up this is the bull back in effect i am feeling super good i'm happy to um just feel just feel energized again so i get the energy back helicopter going by so i got my energy back so things are good so i can get back i'm very motivated to uh get busy again I'm gonna go ahead and get some seed size going today. I am going to be planting several, several things. Matter of fact, well, I'm gonna do some rocket. Uh, this is the uh, the arugula and the uh, uh, collard greens. I'm gonna just direct sow those. I'm gonna just uh, drop, drop some seeds there, and I'm gonna, that's how I, I'm gonna start those. I'm gonna do some um, baby bok choy. I'm gonna do uh, some. Um, some um, broccoli i'm gonna do some chard and several other plants and i'm gonna go ahead and start in my seed trays but um yeah let's get this show on the road and get these seeds started because time weighs on nobody baby all right so let's get this show on the road here oh oh, oh by the way uh you could check out this dr ricky's shirt he has he has a he has this shirt in white, has it in gray. It's not, you know, it's not for sale or anything like that, but this is his uh, dog walking business. As you can see, classy canine, right? Dog walking service, nice looking shirt. Of course, I'm staff because he's the owner. <laughs> so that's Dr. Ricky's business. All right, guys, so I went ahead and um, I got a six pack of Ford Hook Chad set up here. I have some, these are called bulls, like the brother. <laughs> Blood Dark Red Beats. I have 18 baby bok choy. And once these get going here, once these get going, I'm gonna transplant them into into containers. I like growing them in containers, all right? So this is the perfect time now that the fall is coming. This is when you wanna grow uh, uh, bok choys and stuff like that, because they will bolt on you like this all right and we have here the variegated uh mixed chard and we have and we have some broccoli i'm gonna come back and tag these water these down and set them up here on the trays there on the um racks so they can uh start growing and until they germinate but right now, let's go over to uh, the Earth Garden Beds, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get some Georgia Collards going in there, and I'm going to get some um, some Rocket uh, Arugula uh, planted over there as well, and drop a few other seeds. All right, over here, we're gonna plant some collard greens. This whole bed here, I'm gonna just cascade them over. And then as these grow, right? I'll be taking some and I'll be putting them in rows. And then a lot of them will just, I'm gonna just let them bush up right here because a lot of these will be to help feed the chickens.
All right, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna give it a light, light, light blanket of some peat moss. And then I'm gonna wet it down and this will be ready to go. Over here on this side over here, I got a spot right here. I'm gonna cascade some of this uh, rocket arugula. Right, there you go. We'll come back later on and I'm gonna finish this off over here. But right now, let's go pick some green peppers. I wanna get them off the, uh, the bushes there. Got a lot of green peppers to pick. Over here, this plant here has a lot of hot Portugals, but I'm not gonna pick those right now. I want them to get red like this one here, starting to get red, but I'm gonna leave it here for a few more days. And then down here, we have some of those little hot sweets, <laughs> hot sweets. have some jalapenos over here. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest those now, along with the bell peppers. Nice, nice bells. All right, we still got plenty on there, but uh, let's go on to the other side where they're much bigger. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. One thing you should never be buying ever again after you have them is these peppers, period. You know what I mean? Most of the stuff, tomatoes, peppers, okra, you know, most of the stuff that you grow in your garden, you should never be buying again in the store because just collect seeds from them and keep the party going. And peppers there, you, they grow so abundantly that you can grow six or seven plants and have enough peppers to last you the whole, the whole season.
plant, this plant here in particular is loaded with peppers. I'm gonna give these other ones another few days. Ah, uh, the good size, but we're gonna give them a little longer. This little one here turned red. I got another one over here. Still got a little green on it. Got some okra up in there. Got some eggplant still. We go harvest this eggplant, it's pretty big. And I got some peppers down in the back there that I wanna get. Now peppers are a major stable in your food. So you should be growing all kinds of peppers. one here this bad boy I have some watermelons growing down there. Don't have no watermelons on them yet, but I started late with the watermelons. Um, next year, next year I'm gonna be a little bit more prepared with the watermelons. I'm gonna chop all these peppers up and freeze them. That's one thing my wife never complains about. Uh, green peppers, do I have some green peppers to cook? Man, she, tons and tons of bags frozen in there and I give so many of them away as well. Hot Portugals. All right, this is a, this is a container and a half. There's got to be a good 25, 28 peppers up in here. Some uh, some eggplants and some hot peppers. And then a couple okra. 
So, all right, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I will holler at you all on the next video. God bless.